how to access open contrail rest apis first we need to export keystone credentials keystone username keystone password tenant name and auth url so let me export username password and tenant name then the auth url in auth url we have to specify the ip address of keystone server then the port number then the version of keystone api after that we can check with keystone command keystone tenant list if if our credentials are correct we will get the list of tenant list okay it's working okay now we can make an api request to open contrail api server using this keystone token so we can we have to execute this keystone token get command to get the token so let me copy this part actually this command this command will give the token see this is the token so we have to set this token in the header of the request so let me copy this request this is a curl request actually I am using the curl tool to make a request so here in the header xoth token we need to set the token then the IP address of the open contrail API server then the port number 8082 then slash projects so I am going to list the projects so let me execute this one see these are the projects actually this information is coming from open contrail API server so similarly here we, you can change for example if you remove that slash projects you will get the all APIs for example let me copy this virtual networks so if you make get request to slash virtual hyphen network actually uh, virtual hyphen networks you add s you will get all virtual networks so these are the virtual networks ip fabric so if you want to get the information of one particular virtual network we can add that id of that network at the end virtual hyphen network slash the id then you will get the information like this so these are the properties of virtual network nw1 here you can see network ipam reference subnet details dhcp option ipam routing instance information then virtual machine instance so all those information you can fetch for example let me make a get request to get the information of virtual machine interface so slash virtual machine interface slash id
see.